Hello guys, welcome back to the next tutorial. In this tutorial, we will talk about how do we get text of a particular element and uh, how do we perform action by using that text. So let's get started. I'm using Python website as an example. Here you are seeing multiple elements are present on this web page. Text, text field, buttons, labels, etc. All these are elements of this web page. There are multiple scenarios where you need to get the text of an element to perform further actions. For example, you might need to get the text of a button. Let's say if button contains submit or continue text, then click on it. Another scenario might be if message which appears contains success text, then click on any particular button. Let's say next button. And uh, another scenario would be check text of error messages and so on. So, here this button contains text go, and uh, I'll go with the scenario that if button contains go text, then click on it. So, how do we find that text? Let's look at element in DOM now. Right click here. Click on inspect. Select this option appearing at top left. Now select the go button. Element got highlighted under DOM. It contains different attributes, type, name, ID, class, title, and so on. So you can see Go text is written inside this button tag. Here is the starting button tag and uh, here is the ending button button tag. It's, and uh, text will be appearing inside this button tag. It's always like there. Let's see another uh, another text on this page. Here we have a paragraph, introduction paragraph. Let's inspect this paragraph under DOM. I'm selecting it. And here you can see the P tag, starting P tag and ending P tag. And see text is appearing between this P tag. So now I'll get go button text. How to get this let's code it i'm gonna bring up my pycha here i have already created a class named as get text here i have initialized the chrome browser as uh, chrome browser requires a chrome driver path so i have uh, saved the chrome driver path in a variable and uh, passed this variable while initializing the browser here I have added the Python website URL which I want to open. You can choose any URL here. Also added a teardown function which will create the browser at the end. And here I have called the class and then called the function which needs to be run. And uh, after this call the teardown function here. So now I'm gonna enter text in a text field and then click on this go button. So text field has the name search field. Driver dot find element and I need to add self here. find element by css selector and uh, i will add the css selector here and uh, search field dot send keys and uh, i will add the text which i need to be entered in the text field so let's add python 3.6.4 
and uh, now I'm adding um, adding code for the go button so go button equals to self dot driver dot find element by css selector and uh, I will add the css selector here later okay let's find css selector for both text field and the go button Take the text field first and uh, here is the ID yeah it's giving me one by one add it here now I'm gonna create CSS selector for the go button So here is the ID submit and uh, it's giving me multiple values so we can write it as And just extra need. Copy it and uh, paste it here. So go button. Selenium Web Driver provides us a property called uh, dot text to help us find the text of an element. So I'll use this. Since it returns something, so capture it in a variable. Go button text equals to this. And uh, let's add condition here. If go button text equals equals to go, then click on this button go button dot click let's see text is correct or not here we have go in uppercase so changing it here yes and uh, let's run code and see it works or not And yeah, it's working. Finished with Xcode 0. Let's see another example of getting text of error message. I have Gmail login page. Here is the text field that is email address field. And uh, we get an error message when we click on this next button without entering any email address in e email address field. See, so I'm gonna get this text and verify that error message is appearing correctly or not. Let's locate this error message in DOM. Select it. Here is the div tag, expand it and uh, it contains text, enter an email or phone number. If you look closely at this text, you will get an idea that this text is appearing under this div tag but outside the span tag. Span tag is being closed before this text. So let's see how do we get this text. 
I'm gonna comment out this code. And uh, now I'm gonna write code which will click the button on Gmail page. So next button equals to self dot driver dot find element by CSS selector. And here I will add the CSS selector later. So next button dot click. It will click the button. Let's create CSS selector. Um, okay. So now select this next button. And uh, here is the button that is identified next. It's the, it is the ID. And it's unique, it's giving me one by one. Copy it and add it here. And now I'm adding time.sleep to add weight so that you can see an error message clear clearly. Time.sleep for one second. And let's import it. Import time. Now I'm gonna get an error message. So error equals to self dot driver dot find element by CSS selector. And uh, CSS selector would be select it and uh, take this class and to make it unique I will use this class as well add it here and see it's unique I'm taking this one add it here and now I need to get the error message so error text equals to error dot text I'll use this property to get text and uh, if error text equal to let's select text here this then print we are able to find an error message Let's run code. Uh, I need to change the URL here. That is www.gmail.com let's run again and see it's working fine and the statement has been printed out here and uh, it finished with execute zero that's about it thanks for running this one and stay tuned for the next tutorial